What's up, everyone? Todd of 51% Crew. Tonight, I was looking through my YouTube channel, and I was seeing what videos were being watched the most to get an idea of what type of content to bring to you. I noticed that a video that I made probably a year and a half, two years ago on the very basics of how to set up a chart in TradingView was still getting watched quite frequently. So tonight I wanted to make a little bit of an updated video and go into a little bit more explanation to make, a, make it better for you. So I'm sure a lot of people by now are familiar with TradingView.com. If not, link will be in the description. I'm going to start at the very beginning. I'm not even signed into my account, nothing. Just like you would open this up for the very first time and get started yourself. So if you want to start learning technical analysis, this is where you begin. When you first open TradingView.com, you're going to come to a dashboard that looks something like this. What you have to do is you need to launch the chart. This is going to take you into the interactive version of a chart. So when this chart comes up, it's going to be presented to you in a red and green candle with a white background. So we're going to change a few things on this chart to make things a lot easier on you and give you a little bit more depth perception and things like that. So first, we're going to get rid of Apple because we're crypto traders. So we're going to go to a BTC chart. So let's go to BTC US dollar Coinbase and this is the default setting green candles white background red candles so first thing we're going to do to set this chart up is we're going to come in here and we're going to come into the dark color theme what this is going to do is this is going to make it so much easier on your eyes staring at this chart for countless hours like we all do so this gives it a lot more ease on the eyes you know dark theme just seems like everybody likes it better so now that we got our dark theme loaded on here, we're going to come in here and we need to change a few settings. First thing we're going to do is let's come in here and click on these candles with a left click, then right click. That'll bring you into your settings. Come in and click your settings and I'll move this over so you can see what's going on. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a green and red candlestick chart with sharp contrast. So let's come in here and We'll change our green candle. So let's pick a green. And what you can do is you can come in here and add a custom color if you'd like to make this really stand out. So let's add this green here. So we just added a really bright green. And now let's do the same thing with red on the red candles. So we'll come in here, switch this over to the side and boom, we got a green and a red. So. Let's come in here and we want to change our borders to these candles because see how they look a little bit funny like this? Let's come in here and make them solid. So we'll come in here and use the same green and the same red. So that gives us a nice bold colorway to look at. Then we got to look at the wicks. So what do we want to do with these wicks? So we have two options here really. We can come in here and we can change them to the opposite colors of the candles. So it'll look something like this. Or you can come in here and make your wicks white. This one's really not as important as the rest of it. But I wanted to give you some options here. I'm going to leave them white because that's what they're set on now. And let's go with that. So once we have our nice bold and green and red candles with our white wicks, we're going to come in here to appearances. So what we need to do is we need to take this background color and let's make this a really drastic change. So we're going to go to black, really dark black. So now you see how these candles are starting to pop out at you and give you that contrast you need. That's the goal here. So now if we look at this chart, what else do we see on this chart? A lot of people will have these grid lines on these charts and we're going to go ahead and remove them. Why are we going to remove them? Because the problem I see with people is subconsciously these grid lines are, you know, getting into your head. And what they're doing is they're creating points in the market that aren't actually in the market. It's psychologically playing tricks on your mind here. So 
we want to get rid of them. So let's come in here and we'll take these vertical grid lines and we'll make them black and these horizontal grid lines black. So you see what that did to our chart now? We just went from a white chart with green and red candles to a nice contrasted, really clean template with a black background. It, it's just a great start for you to start doing your technical analysis. We got our bold colors. We got sharp contrasted background and everything is just a clean slate for you to get started. That way everything will stick out and you'll be good to go. So that's one way to set up your chart. Let's go into another option because I have some reasons behind this that we'll get into. So let's go back here and if you ever wanna get back to the original settings, just click apply defaults and it'll take you back here. And this is just a standard night mode chart that comes default from from trading view. So now let's go in here and do option number two. We're gonna come in here, click on the candles, right click on settings. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do a neutral density chart. So what we're gonna use here is let's use two blues. So we'll use this blue and this blue. Okay, so let's change our borders, the blue and the blue. And we'll come in here and change our wicks to, you know, you can do white or a gray or whatever color you want. But let's go with white. This isn't as important. So now that we have a neutral density chart, let's come in here and go with our appearances. Black ground, black. Vertical grid lines, black. Same as last time. Horizontal grid lines, black. Okay. What did this just do? Okay. Probably sitting here thinking, Todd, what in the world are you doing? Okay. A lot of old school traders, if you look back in history, you'll see a lot of them using the old newspaper looking charts. It was almost like a white background with like a bluish colored candle and the candles were hollow. What this is doing here is this is giving you like a neutral density. So this is taking all the emotion out of the chart and letting you focus on the chart itself and the market itself. So now when you see this big candle, this big red candle, you're not going, oh my, that's a big red candle. What you're doing is you're focusing on the actual price action you're focusing on the actual candle formations and you're focusing what's really going on in this market instead of psychologically going, oh man, that's a huge red candle or oh man, that's a huge green candle. It's taking the emotion out of the chart here and displaying this data in a neutral format to your mind. So what we did was we took the grid lines off of the chart so they're not psychologically getting in the way with you, creating points of interest in the market that really aren't there. And now we have a completely neutral, dense chart here on a clean, crisp background that you can start to do your technical analysis. Because what you're really looking at here is you're looking at the candle formations. You're looking at the high, the open, the low, the close. You're looking at the shape of the candle. What type of candle is it? Is it a doji candle? Is it a spinning top? You know, you're looking for a formation of these candles, of multiple candles coming into one pattern. So you're not really focusing on the color. The color is not as important is making a decision on what's going on really in the market. So if you start with a neutral chart like this, then you're not going to have as e much emotion running through you when these things happen because this market is obviously extremely violent. So you don't want that to grab a hold of you and get caught up in that moment where you're just looking like, oh, you want to be able to look at this chart Get the information from this chart into your mind and make a decision off of what the chart is doing, not the emotions of some huge red candle or some green candle. So this gives you the color palette that's neutral to do your chart work on and put this into effect. So you see where I'm going with this here? I'm trying to get your mind in the right place to base decisions on what's really going on in the market compared to 
emotionally driven decisions. So that's the reason why we're, we're creating a chart of this neutral color palette. So that's how you get into TradingView. That's how you get this set up. And that's how you, you really make your template up so you can make some decisions. So hopefully this helped you out, gets you on the way to start doing technical analysis and reading those charts and making yourself a better trader if you want to be or whatever your goal is. But that's from the very beginning to where you want to actually start doing your technical analysis at this point. Hope you enjoyed this and leave some comments so I know what kind of content you want to see next and we'll take it from there.